what's going on beautiful people thank you guys for tuning in for watching these videos you know i'm grateful happy to be making these videos and roll to one million baby in this video i want to talk about mushrooms versus alcohol and before I go on rambling in, in a very annoying hippie style, I'm going to read from a study here, right, from The Economist. They did a study to see, you know, how harmful are drugs to users and how, how harmful are they to other people when the user is under their influence, right? So it's, it's an article from The Economist. A new study suggests alcohol is more harmful than heroin or crack. Hmm. So I'm looking at the chart here and alcohol, this is in Britain, the study. So let me read a little bit, then we'll look at the chart. Uh, so a new study suggests alcohol is more, more harmful than heroin or crack. Let me just fix this, okay. Most people would agree that some drugs are worse than others. Heroin is probably considered to be more dangerous than marijuana, for instance, because government for, 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 governments formulate criminal and social policies based upon classifications of harm. A new study published by the Lankit, if I don't know how, if I'm pronouncing it right, on November 1st, makes interesting reading. Research is read by Professor David Nutt. That's a nice name, David Nutt a former chief drugs advisor to the British government, a former chief drugs advisor to the British government, so this guy worked with the British government, asked drug harm experts to rank 20 drugs, legal and illegal, on 16 measures of harm to the user and the wider society, such as, such as damage to health, drug dependency, economic costs, and crime. Alcohol is the most harmful drug in Britain, scoring 72 out of possible 100. Far more damaging than heroin, which scores 55 out of 100 in the damage rate, or crack cocaine, which ranks 54. It is the most harmful to others by a wide margin and is ranked fourth behind heroin, crack, and methamphetamine, methamphetamine meth, basically, crystal meth, for harm to the individual. The authors point out that the model's weightings, though based on judgment, were analyzed and found to to be stable as large changes would be needed to change the overall ranking. So here we have it. The alcohol has 72 out of 100 in terms of the harm ranking. This is in Britain, but applies everywhere else. Heroin is the second one, 55. Uh, crack cocaine is 54. And then meth is 35, 34. Then it goes cocaine, tobacco, amphetamines, cannabis, da -da 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 and the last one, okay, the least harmful, right? It scores six or seven on the harm scale. This is literally in the chart that I'm looking at. It's the last one is mushrooms, psilocybin mushrooms. And um, LSD, so the, the second least harmful is buprenorphine. I don't know what that is. And then LSD is the third least harmful. And they have zero harm to others in the, in the rate here. It's just harm to user. And they're the least. They're in the last three. Mushrooms is the least harmful. Then there's tobacco, alcohol. Crazy, 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 crazy. Irrational, uh, absolutely appalling and outrageous that a drug as harmful to users and others as alcohol is legal and something that many many people report to completely change their life and give them a spiritual awakening and a sense of peace and contentment and calmness and gratitude and love and compassion like mushrooms and lsd which is literally at the bottom of the list of harm <laughs> is illegal and highly stigmatized and how many people were thrown into jail for life and had these terrible sentences back in the 60s and 70s because they were using LSD and mushrooms. Insane, insanity. This just tells me how insane the world we live in is.
It's insane. It's ir ir irrational and unreasonable. It is completely unreasonable. I'm not ranting against alcohol here. I used to drink a lot back in my day. I was a drunk for quite some time. But I think everything should be legal. People should have the right and the freedom over their state of consciousness, over what they want to do with their bodies, over what they want to do with their minds, over what they want to do with how they want to, how they choose to alter their state of consciousness. Look, our, your, our state of consciousness is always being altered. You know, when you are caffeinated on coffee, your state of consciousness is being altered. When you are eating sugar, your state of consciousness is being altered. When you're meditating, your state of consciousness is being altered. Chemicals are produced in your brain because of all of these things. When you drink alcohol, obviously, your state of consciousness is altered. And apparently, not apparently, self-evidently, it, it and just it's all around you, it causes a lot of harm to user, but also to others. It's one thing to harm yourself, but it's another thing to harm others, right? How many people have died because of drunken driving related issues? Anyway. We should, we should be free as a society. I mean, if you want to drink alcohol, be my guest. You're free, right? Aren't you? We're all free. But when, this, when the numbers and the statistics show you that mushrooms and LSD are literally the least harmful out of a host of drugs that are legal, like caffeine. You know, caffeine is there. Not caffeine, sorry. Uh, tobacco is there. Alcohol is there, you know? crazy ridiculous that the most harmful drug is not is the most legal one actually it's it is the most legal one we don't even think of alcohol as a drug what are you gonna do this weekend bro oh i'm gonna go get drunk all right nice nice maybe i'll join you later for, for a drink or two we don't think of it as a drug because it's so sanctioned it's so socially acceptable government you know in canada the government is the one that makes the money off of it you know it's we're sorry in ontario in the province that I'm in, in Alberta, it's different. It's private, but here it's the government controls the alcohol, and they they distribute it and they make the money off of it. So actually, they have every interest in you getting drunk every weekend because they make money off of it. So then that's legal and encouraged and promoted, and you know, <laughs> you know, they put this image in front of you, right? Like if you're watching a a, a basketball game or a football game, you know, a nice picture goes really smooth down with these nachos like they point these images in you so that you know drinking becomes part of your culture which is fine man like fuck do what you want to do do what you want to do okay it's your state of consciousness but what i'm saying is if that that's legal and highly encouraged actually by daddy the government when i say daddy i'm talking about the government because people apparently if the government says something they follow immediately they they get down on their knees and, and they, they worship this state, this, this thing, whatever it is, this entity, without questioning much of what's happening. But then, mushroom, when it comes to psychedelics, when it comes to LSD and mushrooms, that's banned. That's a in, in the United States, that's a Schedule 1 drug. In, here in Canada, it's Schedule 3. So in Canada here... I'm happy to be in Canada because it's much better that way. But still, I mean, it's still ridiculous that it's even a schedule three. It is ridiculous that in states of schedule one, it's ridiculous that you fucking cops can take you to jail and put you in fucking 20 years, sentence you 20 years, right? Probably the same thing in Britain. I don't know the laws in Britain, right? But crazy, crazy when you're talking about the least harmful drug to user and to others. What kind of world are we living in, guys? This is insanity. This is, uh, this is true. You know what I mean? What the fuck? <laughs> right? So uh, what I think, I think all drugs should be legal. You're, you should be allowed to choose how you decide to view the world from whichever lens you want. If you want to get drunk every day, cool. By all means, just make sure if you want to harm yourself, go ahead. Just don't harm others. And the problem is with alcohol, it's, you know, statistics, they show it's harmful to others as well, right? It has the highest harm rate, but also has the highest harm rate for others, not just the user. So, you know, there's even the argument there is like, well, if it's harmful to society, maybe we, sh we should do something about it, right? 
maybe we should control it more, but it's not even controlled. It's completely encouraged. I'm saying, I don't think anything should be controlled, not alcohol, not heroin, not crack. But I'm saying, actually, it would be a better argument to say, let's le make alcohol illegal than it is that than it is to say, let's make psychedelics illegal. If we, if I had to make the argument right now, if somebody had to make the argument of, all right, guys, uh, we're gonna make alcohol illegal for these reasons because it, you know it, it. There's a lot of harm to other people. Blah blah blah. You would have a much better time making this argument than making the argument of, all right, guys, we're gonna make mushrooms and LSD illegal because of. Well, you don't even really. You just now speaking bullshit propaganda because oh, it makes people go crazy and jump off buildings and it makes them lose their mind and it makes them go psychotic and blah blah. Of course, this is all propaganda, but really when it comes down to it, and statistics show, numbers show, it's the least harmful. So I would have a much easier time making the argument of making alcohol illegal than psychedelics. Not to say I'm, I want to make this argument. I want to make the argument that all drugs should be legal. In Portugal, they've been decriminalized and rates of cr crime as a result of drugs and even rates of overdose and people taking the wrong drug because, you know, if drugs are illegal, people are going to do it anyway, right? All these rates dropped significantly in Portugal after they decriminalized the use of all drugs. Because people are going to do drugs anyway. People who are going to want to do cocaine are going to do cocaine anyway. People who want to do heroin are going to do heroin anyway. People who want to do psychedelics are going to do psychedelics anyway, right? Make it all legal. Make it all legal. At least now people don't have to uh, take the wrong drugs or have their drugs laced by something that is, you know, lethal, you know? And in Portugal, it shows all, all overdose and people taking wrong drugs and crimes because of drugs have dropped significantly since they decriminalized all drugs. So that's a, that's a model to follow, but even better, just legalize them altogether. Let people do what they want. But somebody wants to harm themselves, let them harm what they want. If Sorry, if somebody wants to harm themselves, let them harm themselves. Like You try to educate people, obviously. But then they make the choices. Look, if I want to fucking put alcohol in my body every single day as long as i've been educated about its pros and cons then i should i should have the right to do whatever i want with my body and my mind so it's ridiculous it really is ridiculous so here in canada marijuana is becoming legal in july of 2018 that is a very good step that is a first step that is very good and i hope that canada becomes the first country in the world to make all drugs legal uh, we're more friendly here in Canada when it comes to, uh, you know, drugs and you choosing whichever, whatever you want to do, right? I mean, marijuana has practically been the, like decriminalized for so long. Practically, I mean, cops sees you here with a joint, you know, I've been caught with friends with a joint before. They'll just take it away and throw it off and that's it, right? I mean... I have a cop friend and before he became a cop, I used to smoke weed with him all the time. So, you know, it's hopefully, you know, I live in Canada, so I hope Canada could maybe lead the world and just say, hey, let's make all drugs legal and the rest of the world to follow. People should have sovereignty and independence and all the rights to choose how they want to view the world. And when it comes to mushrooms, I mean, they're the most least harmful. Right? They're the least harmful. And if, you know, with the John Hopkins study, uh, how it can actually have so many good benefits to the, to the person, how dealing with death and anxiety and depression, not only is it the least harmful, it could be very, very fucking beneficial to, to all of society as a whole. Insanity, stupidity, question authority. Question everything, guys. Question everything, okay? Don't just listen and, and say, all right, I follow. I am an obedient slave. No. Question everything. Educate yourself, take different points of views, and then make your own decisions, okay? That's it. Check out my free book, Five Powerful Habits to Dominate Life in All Areas. Leave me something in the comments, guys, and love every single one of you. Love you guys, but don't forget to subscribe, or you're going to sleep with the fishes.